Hey guys, and welcome to Sunday School Online. I uh, hope you all had an amazing week. Um, thank you for all your entries. So the first thing we're going to do today is we are going to announce the winner of the egg competition. So, if you are already, what we're going to do is going to do a drum roll for the winner. So, you ready to start? Three, two, one. And the winner is Megan Balaam. So you'll see the egg right now. Really good job, Megan. Smashed it. You, Everyone did really, really well. I'm sorry I couldn't pick everyone to win. I wish I could. But Megan won this week. But don't worry because there's a competition every single week. So if you keep joining us, keep watching. Um, I'll tell you more about that later. And we can all have a good time. And you guys can have the chance to win another prize. Okay, so... This week, we're going to talk about something I love. It's not pizza, it's not sausage and mash, but if anyone wants to give me some, that would be great. Um, it is, in fact, a theme that links all these people. So these people are going to scroll through now. Amazing. So all these people had something in common. Can anyone tell me do, 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 what they all have in common? Have a think. Correct. They are all superheroes. Okay. And you might be thinking, Corey, we did Easter last week. Why are we doing superheroes now? How's that all link? What's going on? So let me explain. Basically, last week we celebrated Easter. Okay. And what Jesus did. Okay when he died and then came back to life okay which is i think is a very superhero thing to do but jesus didn't just come back to life jesus took all the bad things that we've done all the bad things our friends have done all the bad things anyone in the world has done and he took them on himself so we don't have to deal with that pain anymore from all the bad things that we do okay and that means that doesn't mean we don't still do bad things we do bad things all the time but the the point is that jesus forgives us for that and he says, it's okay. Just like when some of you maybe do something wrong and your parents go, no, it's okay. Or whoever you live with go, it's okay. Don't worry, just don't do it again. You know, um, which is amazing that we can be forgiven for, for the stuff that we do wrong all the time. Because trust me, guys, genuinely, I do things wrong all the time. But I know that Jesus forgives us, okay? And that is such an amazing thing and such a powerful thing. So this week, the challenge is going to be a good one. What I'd like you to do is I would like, because some people in our lives have characteristics of Jesus, okay? Because especially for Christians, we're told that Jesus lives in us, which I think is amazing, that Jesus is inside of us and he helps us be better people. So there are people around you that have such Jesus qualities and they may be Christians, they may be not. But what I want you to do for the challenge this week, I would love you to draw some of those people. I want you to draw them, they could be NHS workers, they could be grandparents, they could be, uh, you know, people you live with, it could be anyone, okay, absolutely, anyone. it could be a friend, anyone that you can think of, okay, and what I want you to do is I want you to bling them out, so I want you to put a cape on them, I want you to put like, you know, get some cool like lasers and stuff, I want you to do, I want to make them look sick, I want to make them look like the coolest superhero on the planet, whether that's, you know, where the cool for you is like lasers and stuff, or whether the cool for you is like a prank tiara, you know, it could be anything, whatever you want, okay, you draw them as best you can, okay, and we've got a new hashtag this week, just like we did last week, so the hashtag this week is hashtag heroes around us okay hashtag heroes around us so if you put that in your fit in the facebook post that you put up um then i can see it um and so yeah so do your best at drawing do your best at you know trying as best as you can um to try and make them look really cool and i will judge next week and next week when i come back you will guys will be able to see who won okay so do that that'd be awesome um i can't wait to see those also while you're drawing, okay, in the description, I'll remind you at the end of the video as well, in the description there's a song called Jesus Is My Superhero. If you want, after this video, give that a watch, give that a listen to, it's a sick song. I, I listened to it all as a kid when I was younger, and mate, honestly, I know the words, it's well good. 
And if you want, if you are lucky, okay, I'm going to do an interpretive dance to this song. If this video, if, if, if you guys watching, all give this video a like. If this gets 10 likes by Tuesday, 10 likes by Tuesday, this video, I will release me doing an interpretive dance to Jesus is my superhero. Okay, so that'll be what I do. All right, by so by Tuesday, if it gets ten likes, then I'll do the video. Okay, so the other thing I wanted to say because I want two challenges this week. That's how cool we are. Okay, we are cool at Virtual Sunday School. We have two challenges, not just one. So obviously, the first one, draw the draw. You know, whoever is important to you it could be NHS workers, could be parents, could be anyone you want. Okay, other challenge. Okay. Who remembers the verse from last week? Because what I would like you to do, right, we're going to go through it today. So it was uh, found in 1 John chapter 4, verse 14, if you remember, okay? And it was, the Father sent the Son to be the Saviour of the world. 1 John chapter 4, verse 14. So let's see if you guys can remember it, because we're going to do it again. But the challenge, before we redo the, the memory verse, is... Can you show me the memory verse in a cool way? Can you post a video of you just saying it? Or maybe you want to do it on a trampoline if you've got a trampoline. Or you might want to do it creatively. Maybe, you know, do it on some, like, cardboard or something. What, whatever you want to do, okay? That's the challenge this week. Can you make the, the memory verse really cool? So, superheroes, real cool memory verse. And let's get it sorted, okay?